Hey, I'm Kev Kermistico, and welcome back to Rims Racing. That is right, it has been a long ass time since I've been here. It's like a year and a few months. And I never actually finished my season of career in this, amazingly. Even though I spent, what, six months originally doing the series, I still had a bit of season one left. So, with Race with Truth having a new game coming out, TT Other Man 3. Let's head back to Rims Racing. Let's enjoy it. Let's get into the mood for a race with Studios bike tires. Well, this was their first title as well. And this is all a bit about customization, about maintaining your bike, which I'd love to see in T of Man 3 as well. As they had a bit of customization in 2 as well, where you can like modded the bike, upgraded the bike. I'd love to see that in 3 as well. But let's hop into career. As uh, welcome to the garage. As we've got our motorbike stand there, we've got the calendar, we've got the research centre, which I have not fully really researched it, and it's like I have got lots of tokens to get to fully really research. Motorbike stand, so you could. There are only a few bikes in this game, unfortunately. They, they went for the quality over quantity, which is fantastic. I wish more games did that. Not looking at you, Forza, or Grand Turismo, or, or iRacing, or Mobilista, you know, all the ones with lots of of vehicles but yeah i do like that it's just that there wasn't much else in the game like they had different classes of bikes like had like five super bikes five super sport bikes something like that okay maybe there'd be a bit more legs to this game it would have kept playing it a bit more but it's just i think it's like six or seven super bikes here so that's the one problem it's just not enough content in this game unfortunately uh, it can change motorbikes, so last time I bought a Suzuki, I, had to, I really had to re watch my videos back to see what I was doing, so I got a Kawasaki, I got a Ducati, so we're on a Suzuki for the final part here, we've got to get a Yamaha R1, an Augusta MV, MV Augusta, sorry, we've got a Honda Fireblade there, you have got the BMW M1000, and we've got the Aprilia RS4, RSV4 as well available to us, so... Some really nice like super bikes as well, like eight of them here. So we're trying to unlock one more before you know we end the end the series. But in the workshop, this is like the main main hub for us. As you got the maintainer bike, as you can see. So green means it was good. What does this mean? There's no components there. That's good. And then we've got yeah, you know, <laughs> you know as well. And then red means that's bad. Maybe maybe got to work on that, dude and replace it so got no rear fender as well can i race without these i don't know let's see and then the shop this is where you get all your parts as well as you can see unfortunately it wasn't too much choice as well in this on some of these like areas which again didn't help with the you know making no if you introduce some longevity so you couldn't come up with some really weird like builds for these bikes as well well, I say weird builds, like having different type of components than the bikes as well. And have Nuka components, which, you know, even in, say, Supercross, all, all the MXGP games, which my son did a bit better with the customization, but that's what, that was the main hub. As you see, you've got engineering there as well here to unlock stuff. Got motorbike tuning, so you've got our setups here as well. So you've got the suspension, the shocks, the gearing tire pressures and the ECU and then before we look at the calendar what have we got oh, we've got login so we've got rider customization again it's gonna have been gonna just a bit a bit more on this as our helmet is damaged apparently everything's like red and was okay let's see what's this gloves yeah they're good yeah I wish it was a bit bit more going on again with customization it's just that's the, just the general theme of the game just not enough here unfortunately it's like a it's like a mid 2000s game with the kind of like gods and has in this and then management if i'm allowed to select that again we got to upgrade this and then settings so i've got kind of international measurement realistic sit wish that physics manual transmission split braking so i don't have like just one brake it's combined Manual tucking, which I really do miss from like the MotoGP games, for example, and semi-pro and career. So you've got novice and pro. Again, I would have loved to see more career options here. 
That song called Draw Vibration is Max. And then audio. I wish there was like audio for also the other bikes as well. But audio is pretty pretty good though. Pretty like controller setup. You can see pretty standard. And then video settings. This is what I love. this is what I want to see in all games. This is HUD setting where you can turn it on or off. You can see what Oh no, I've got that off. Turn it back on again. Oh look, there it is. This is what this is what we need in every game, like a HUD preview basically. And I get why every game doesn't have it. And then grammar settings, graphics, maybe not as many options here as I would have liked. But you can see you still got a lot, heck of a lot of options here. Alright, so let's go back into the calendar. This optimization wasn't the best as well. Some 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 round track some tracks especially like if it rains, you know, it's a bit could be a bit stuttery at first. So we'll see if it's all right though around Zuzu because the AI is a bit all over the place as well. So of course I haven't updated this game in ages. Let's see if let's see how good they are though around Suzuka. So what you do you know? As you can see, we got 15 events there. So I'm hoping to get through. I don't know, maybe maybe five in this episode, maybe three. We'll try and get through as many as we can though in each episode. So depending on how many we can get through and on it takes. You know, it depends how long the episodes are. So we've got four laps here around Suzuka first of all. This is something I like as well, I like this little intro. I hope we have this for TTL Man 3 as well. The intros for the graphics want the best as well with these shaders. They the game look a bit dated, in my opinion. So they look better in T2L Man 3 as well, the shaders are using and the graphics in general. So that's good. And then, yeah, we can do some tuning, but we should start, shall we? So we've got qualifying first of all, if you want to do it, but we're not going to do that. So you can see you've got 10 bikes, 2 minutes 30. Remember, this is the motorcycle track as well. So we've got the longer last chicane. And then we've got the chicane after the hairpin in the middle of the lap as well. So that's actually practice. Sorry, this is qualifying. You can skip through this again. And then it is race time. So it's the second race of four on our Honda. And if we win this, we get the Honda, I believe. So that's what we're trying to aim for here. Starting in second. So I'm pleb. And we get going around Sunny Suzuka. Four laps in the seat. Oh god, clip the rear end of someone. We're down. <laughs> We're in the fence. We took a couple riders with us in it's like as well. God, I can't remember the difficulty round here though. I wonder if some of pro is our level. We are very rusty at this. I've been doing some practice of course. There's all bikes going all over the place. Oh. Yeah, but AI weren't very good at seeing that you were there. Which, thankfully, it's not really going to be an issue in Tito the Man. I'm hoping. <laughs> the race is a bit different than this. Well, it depends. I, we did have like head to head races in 1 and 2, so maybe I'll have that in 3 as well. I wonder, wonder what happened. But yeah, the aim of this is not really to win anything, I guess. Like It's just to oh, get to the end of career as the front goes. So we're seven seconds back. Okay, we'll get to well we definitely get to see what our pace is like. Front is lifting a lot. Don't know if I've got to adjust settings on gearing or oh, I've got auto gears on. What the hell? I did have auto gears on by accident, that's what's screwing me over then. Look how damaged our bike is as well. I think the Honda though is not our bike though. I think, as I said, if we... Let's start that again, shall we? So yeah, again, if we win, then we get the Honda. 
Maybe this is a line. It's going to be a very messy bite, though. <laughs> it's all crashing before the first corner, but yeah, as you can see, AI weren't the best, so... Hopefully with TTR of man. You know, don't have to concentrate AI too much. Maybe we'll see them when lapping. Like we did in... 1 and 2. You know, hopefully they're actually aware of you in TTR of man 3 rather than in this, as you're about... Out the sea, as you can see, they're not even aware of each other, and it's like they've been crashing into each other already. So just trying to stay up right here. Trying to push a bit. Not tucking in because we're going around the Donnot curve, heading towards the Degners. Very vicious corners, but you can't take that inside curb. So just get up to speed on this first lap. I was trying. I was pushing too hard my first attempt. All right. Just want to stay with everybody this time. It should hopefully be easy as well as seeing as we don't have auto gears on. Second out of the corner is not first as well. Unless we really want the crash. The Porsche Zico is easy against us. I must. I must be thinking of rides. Ride 4 Zazika was nice for us against the AI, but not in this though, it's like it's go through spoon curb. Trying to not really use too much rear brake. Okay, don't touch that curb on the exit. Get hard on the power. It's too much one to sit stream past there's actually behind looking at them. Oh, what the hell? All right, 50th time lucky. Let's do this. I have to see if our opponent's on slicks as well. From what I can tell, they are. Yeah, Nick in front. They're definitely slicks in front. Shiny new slicks as well. Is that the back of the field? So that's one move. Yeah, that's one down. Okay. Oh, bit wide, bit wide in second, bit wide, bit wide, bit wide. I maybe should have nicked at the setting, shouldn't I? Try and reduce this. Understeer. It's all kind of well behaved actually on this attempt. Oh, saying so that someone's run wide. There's, oh, someone's clipped the curb. And one ride again did that. Person as well did come out. Oh, okay, I'm the one now destroying people. <laughs> Whoops. That's totally my fault. I was, I was too busy looking behind, making sure I wasn't getting taken out rather than looking in front. Alright, we'll, we'll get better in the second half of the race. I hope. Right through spoon over the bumps. You can really feel the, how bumpy the entrance is as well. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I can't see the person behind. Oh, there they are. Right in our tote. Beautiful, just what I want. Even breaking heavy and early, we're still running wide there. As yeah, they take us out, that's good. Can we actually try and break early for the corner? I mean, it's made no difference, has it? This will be the attempt, whatever. I was going to be here all day trying to work around the AI to make this good, so. Alright, we're like 20 seconds back, I think. Let's see. 17.2. What can we do from here? Well, I can let the front go. Well, this bike's got more... So much understeer. 
That's not, not like me breaking as well. Let's get a half second penalty. Breaking on the curb. Should we just skip to the end? <laughs> Right, here we go then, getting towards the end of the race. It's been very lonely. I might just have to put it to the lowest difficulty. Like, we are like... Lapping five seconds off the pace. And I've had a crash this lap, so that's why we're five seconds slower as well. This around the circuit we know as well, oh my god, imagine like some of these road tracks they have as well. I bet we're going to be around them, but there we go, first race in the bag. Not as good as we thought, but yeah, look at their best times, 2.13s to 16s, we did 2.18. So we'll lose a couple seconds in the first sector. Pretty even in the second split though, that's nice. Third split, again, we're a couple seconds back, and then a couple seconds back in the fourth split as well. So, yeah, we've got, we've got some improvements to do. So, next up, we can do, it's like a task event, so extreme motorbike conditions, beat all the tasks to win the highest rewards. Of course, to finish on at least third, do five turns with the angle of at least 50%, or 50 degrees, sorry, and then get off track more than three times. So, we could probably do at least one of those, I think. Let's see, what's this? What's this sponsored race around Fuji? Or just have a rest. Let's do this. Let's do Paso San Marco. This is the track I practiced before this. Before this recording as well. So I hope I can at least do one of these tasks. Alright, here we go then. So I thought I practiced this beforehand. I practiced it the other way through. Not this way through. I know, I know I can do around three minutes the other way through here. I don't know this way through. I don't know the turns this way through. So this is going to be interesting. But yeah, remember our task is... Task one is finish top three. Task two is the lean angle of at least 50 degrees. To some of these corners. And then task three is not get off track more than three times, which... I feel like we're going to fail that one especially. We might be able to do the 50 degree one. Because I know there's some hairpins. Especially towards the end of the lap now. Right at the beginning. And we might get top three. You never know. Because we are running on novice now. Because they've seen the first race. We're not, not very good at this. But even on novice. I didn't see we're struggling to get top five already. Right, we get up to sit. What? I was going so slowly in tech corner. Why was the bike not stopping? I do not get that. I do not get that at all. I could have braked 50 meters early and the bike was not stopping as well. I guess I was just locked up. But I did not feel that at all. That was a big issue with the old TTR of man games as well. Like the braking. And just almost feels like you're suddenly losing control. Which I'm hoping Racewood can work on. Because, yeah, again, I'm braking so hard. And it's not doing anything. Well, we're not getting top three. I've got to do the 50 degree angle then, at least. Because it's Hairpin City now as well. So I'm hoping we can... To the 50 degrees thing. God's sake. I, would have, I wouldn't have taken this if I knew it was this way through. I thought it's the other way through. That's with nine seconds behind everyone now. Right, come on. I've got to get at least that, and then I can do an upgrade as well, I think. So, yeah, we're not bothered about finishing. We're just bothered about getting the 50 degrees thing. 
as you failed, as you can see, going off track at least less than three times. Good, good stop. Oh, we did it! We done it at least fifty degrees. Let's go. Again, maybe it's because it's wet as well. We're just locking up more. But we should be around, what, 20 seconds quicker than that? Yeah. 20 seconds quicker and we'd have won. So I literally am a novice. I'm a novice pace around in these. But hey, we got a team point. I would take that. And next up is the Rooms World Championship. Oh my god, why am I, where am I? I'm second. Oh god. Where am I in the Honda thing? I'm last. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, let me upgrade. What should I upgrade? Research. What's research? What's this upgrade? Let me see. So, oh, this is just MSC. So, what you can see on the MSC. Oh, advanced forecast as well. Opponent's in info. So, opponent's mot motorbike. So, it can be consulted. Oh, okay. That would be pretty cool. So, yeah. Can I do that now? Or would I have to... Oh, I have to unlock all of these. God damn it. I just wasted that. I thought I could unlock it after just one. No. All right, let's head to America then. <laughs> All right, here we go then. So this is slightly our first take at this. As <laughs> for the settings, I basically had to do the opposite of what I did in practice. So to get rid of the understeer. I've made the bike. Oh my god! Whoa! What the fuck? Bikes are flying everywhere. So yeah, to get rid of the understeer, I've made the springs much softer. As you know, spring hardness has gone up. Because apparently that's telling me that the bike will be more stable through the corners. It should help me. There's, oh, did we just murder someone? What the, what the hell? Oh my god, everyone's just going down around us. So yeah, we should have a less understeery bike from what I understand, from what the game's telling me. Let's get up to third. Oh my, what the fuck? I'm on the other side of a railing. What did that, what the hell? Okay. We're still in fourth, I'll take it. <laughs> but I think get a penalty as well for going off track, strangely. Oh, what? Why did the front fold? No, come on! Oh, I shouldn't have pinched first. Oh, fuck off. Alright, so here we go then. This is totally our first try at this. As we get going. <laughs> I cannot tell you how long I've been trying to do this race. I've changed all my settings as well. So remember, we're on novice difficulty. I had a very understeery setup in practice, so I've... I've followed what the game has told me to make it less understeery. I'm hoping it's work, gonna work. Apart from spring stiffness, or spring hardness, which I've turned up, because the band is gonna help. As oh my god, we're all hitting each other here. So the leader gets away. We're up in fourth. That's a good, that's a great start. So remember, we're good in split three. We're a turbo at the end because we kept crashing. Oh my god, almost into the bays. I do, I still have lots of understeer. What the fuck? I think I've done, made it too stiff, the springs. Oh, I should have listened to you, game. I should get my set up. But yeah, all my settings were wrong apart from rebound, about the like the top rebound. So I'm totally opposite on all my other settings. So I'm hoping we've got we're gonna have a less stable bike apparently, but we're meant to exhort the bumps better. So I hope that we'll combat the understeer or a bit, but who knows. I don't know, I'm just roaming in the dark here. Breaking nice and early. We're three seconds back. Maybe we can keep within five maybe of the leader before that last split. I'll be happy with that. We can maybe gain time in splits three and four. Or in the second half of the race, sorry. Let's 
to get back up to third, do we? I don't know, I, don't, I can't see Panu right next to me. Oh my god, I've let two of them by. Oh, you idiot. And I know they've let me back by. What? I'm so confused. Alright, we're back up to third. That's all that matters. <laughs> There's big lunge into every braking zone. Oh, that's split three. That's the split we're good at. Okay. Oh, no, we're back to third. Oh, what? I can't see your bike. Where oh, are your bike? Oh, my God. There was a bump there. I didn't even realise. That's one, that's one I must have crashed in practice because I didn't even realise that was there. I don't know. We're battling for second, though. Well, there's a train of brights behind me. Do not net behind, Kev. I can't remember... Oh, God, I can't remember the braking zones at the end here. That's definitely a braking zone. No, front! Why are you doing that? Oh, my God, I brake so hard. I'm down from second to last. Are you fucking kidding? Are you kidding? The penultimate corner I crashed, I'm going to finish last. Are you fucking kidding? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that sound is. They're just anguish. Look at that. Great first split. Terrible second. Great third split. And then at the end, fucked it. So that means in the standings then, with two races remaining, we're down to third, I think, in the standings. I think we were second, weren't we, previously? We're still only seven points back. We're 11 points cover the top five. It is insanely close. As you can see, the field's insanely close as well. One mistake. Right from the front to the back. We actually finished ninth in the end, not tenth as well. But yeah, I think that'll be it for this episode. Otherwise, it's going to be like, fi like 50 minutes long, this episode, so... Thanks for watching all. I hope you enjoyed the return of Rims Race as we try and finally finish our career here. As there we go. So those are the three events we've done this episode. So next time we've got maybe an event around the Monsanto circuit or the circuit Paul Ricard, or we can just rest. Oh, maybe I'll show you a bit of Paul Ricard. Oh no, it's a bit wet actually. I'm not sure. Do I want to show you Paul Ricard? I don't know. <laughs> we've got a duel, a face-off. Well, I'm Paso San Marco for the other way through. And I know it's pissing it down in it, so that's great. And we've got our third event in the Honda series in the manufacturer event round Silverstone. Hopefully, home to fucking reverse our fortunes a bit. But yeah, sound fortune all. And I will see you all next time.